Hello, this is Dr. Kilgore with Dr. Kilgore's World with a flipped math video about calculating volume. So make sure that your math notes are out in front of you and you are ready to work these problems with me. Our learning goal is I can calculate the volume of composite solids. So that means those solids, that there are two separate parts. We can break them apart, calculate their volumes, and then add the volumes together. So we start with a vocabulary review. The first thing is volume. Volume is the amount of space an object occupies. So length times width times height. Let's go ahead and look at a few of these composite figures and start calculating our volume. So with these, volume equals length times width times height. This is what your paper should look like. We should say part one, part two, and then together. Okay, so part one, we are gonna break this figure apart right here. So if this side length is five, and the total is eight, well, eight minus five is three. That means this is three units tall, and it is seven units deep. That's going to help me um, calculate this volume. So I'm going to call this top part part one. So volume equals five for my length times seven deep times three wide. Volume equals 35 times three. Volume equals 15, three times three is nine, plus one is 10, 105 units cubed because it's volume. Okay, so let's look at part two down here. Part two, volume equals seven wide times seven deep times five tall. So volume equals 49 times five. 49 is almost 50. I could do the algorithm and go 49 times five, which would be five, four, so 245. I could have also done, rounded 49 up to 50, times five would be 250, and then subtracted the five for rounding that up. Need to make sure my units are cubed. So 105 plus 245 equals zero, five, three. Let's get an eraser and make that look like I would expect your paper to look. So 350 units cubed would be our volume. Let's go ahead and set this bottom one up. One, part two, together. Remember that all of your work needs to be shown just like mine has. It will really help you to set it up part one and part two because that will help you remember to do all of the steps. So part one, three by four by two. 
volume equals, volume equals 12 times 2, so volume equals 24 yards cubed. For number 2, volume equals 9 times 8 times 4, so length times width times height. Volume equals 72 times 4. 72, 4, 8, 28, 288 yards cubed. So 288 plus 24 equals 2, 1, 8, 9, 10, 11, 312 yards cubed would be my answer to this composite figure. Okay, let's go ahead and look on the next page. I've got two more. I want you to set your work up for part one. Part two, I want you to go ahead and pause the video now and show all of your work and then come back and work these volume problems with me. Okay, so let's look at this first solid. Six high, three, that means it's going to be five across here. So part one, volume equals three times five times six. Volume equals 15 times six. Volume equals six times five is 30. Six times one is six plus three is nine, so 90 meters cubed. Part two, that is the bottom part, eight times five times five. So volume equals 40 times five. Volume equals 200 meters cubed. So volume equals 290 meters cubed. Let's go ahead and look at this last one. It's kind of broken up right here for us. We need to figure out how deep it is. So that would be five centimeters. Let's take this as part one, eight times five times three. So volume equals 40 times three. Volume equals 120 centimeters cubed. Part two, we have two times five times six. 10 times six, so volume equals 60 centimeters cubed. Volume equals 120 plus 60 is 180 centimeters cubed. The important thing for you to remember when you are working these volume problems with composite solids is that you need to do all of the work. You need to do part one, you need to do part two, and then you need to add them together to get your total answer for the volume of those composite solids.